class. I hope you guys are having fun so far and um, this week we're going to try something that I think a lot of you are going to have a really hard time with so I'm going to be really upfront about that. We're going to go on a digital diet. Um, I'm hoping that you will do it for two days um, so no cell phones, um, iPads, TV, computers, etc. Um, a lot of us will have to plan in advance to do something like that. Um, you know, we all have busy lives, work full time, get school work done on the weekends, etc. So um, I would probably imagine that for most of you, maybe doing your digital diet over the weekend would be the best bet. And there may be some instances where you have to do something on your computer for school or something. But what I'm trying to ask you to do is to not get carried away. Um, we're also accustomed to checking our phones constantly, um, even when we're doing something really kind of like nice, like having dinner with our family, you know, we're, we're like checking our email and looking at our phones constantly, or we're plugging our kids in and putting them on videos on a phone or something like that, which I, we are learning is really bad for their brains. So um, anyway, I have never done this assignment before. We used to always call this assignment without a machine and I let you guys decide which machine you were gonna give up um, for one day. And um, based off the results of that, over the last couple semesters, I decided that we'd all try to do a digital diet. Um, so yes, I know what I'm asking you to do sounds insane. Um, a lot of you maybe have never gone like a day without your phone um, constantly in your hand. So, um, for me, just to tell you a little story, I didn't have um, a computer in college. I was probably the last generation of students who didn't have a regular computer um, in their undergraduate program. I had a huge typewriter machine that had a teeny tiny screen on it. So technically, yes, it was a computer, but it was called a brother word processor. And when it would type up my papers, it sounded like a machine gun. It was so loud. I used to have to wrap it in a towel um, and stuff it in the closet while it was typing because it was so loud it would wake up my neighbors. Um, and I didn't get my first cell phone or my first computer until after I graduated from college in around 2000 um, in my first professional jobs. Um, I had a pager, which sounds ridiculous now. So anyway, um, I have experienced life without um, computer and a phone and all that jazz but a lot of um, younger people haven't and I, we've become quite dependent on that so I think we can learn a lot by giving it up for a day or two and um, I really want you to write about it and tell me how it feels uh, what does it feel like to give it up and I imagine the first day might be a little rough and I'm hoping that the second day will feel maybe better and more pleasant and maybe you'll find some other things and reconnect with some activities that you haven't done in a long time. So that's just my guess. I don't know. But um, anyway, I hope you have fun with it. Thanks.